Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I am your host, Dane Henning. Long-term care providers have finally been given a higher priority status to receive PPE and other relief from the federal government during the ongoing coronavirus health crisis. This week, it was revealed that Vice President Mike Pence told governors on Friday that FEMA will soon start shipping supplies of PPE to every nursing home across the country. The assistance comes after numerous and very public pleas from long-term care providers, advocates, and workers who are on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic. PPE, additional testing access, and funding are the top areas where providers need more help. The inability for providers to obtain sufficient amounts of PPE, particularly face masks, has resulted in nothing less than a tragedy in the nation's nursing homes. A recent report found that the pandemic has resulted in more than 11,000 deaths in U.S. skilled facilities. Meanwhile, the CDC this week modified its priority classifications for COVID-19 testing and long-term care. It has created two categories, high priority and priority. Both healthcare facility workers and residents with symptoms are classified as high priority. In addition, healthcare workers that have had contact with a person with known or suspected COVID-19 should be considered for testing. Residents and long-term care workers without symptoms also may be prioritized by state or local health departments or clinicians for reasons including public health monitoring, sentinel surveillance, or screening of other asymptomatic individuals. Previously, the CDC identified three priority levels for testing. Healthcare workers with symptoms were identified as priority one, while residents with symptoms were identified as priority two, and healthcare workers without symptoms were priority three. Lastly, PPE shortages should also not last long as China begins to reopen and ramp up factory production. China was forced to stop manufacturing for several months due to the disease's spread in that country, but experts suggested that supply levels should return to normal, most likely early June or even earlier, that all PPE that was sent from China will begin arriving like before the crisis began. Until then, there's a high level of importance that federal resources step up providing supplies for the long-term care sector. Even with additional PPE supplies, infection control practices and nursing facilities will change dramatically until there's a vaccine. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.